Hello, everybody, and welcome back I to Bear. Where we're going? I was like, okay, that's funny. We could go with that. But I was like, what are you doing? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Barely Parable Besties. I'm Thomas. I'm Bianca. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's been a few weeks. Yeah. We are still remote and we're still working through those challenges um we are but we have missed you guys <laughs> and oh man we have we have missed you guys and we're still working on it so we're still working out some some audio issues some things like that so if you, you... so our last episode is sorry. on youtube um it is not on spotify yet though we're working on it sorry what were you gonna say we are working on it i, I was gonna say you may have noticed it's our, our, that our ah! Our last episode is up on YouTube, but it is not up on Spotify or Apple Podcast yet. And that is because we do not know how, but we are getting there. We're almost there. I, we kind of know yeah, how. It's just it. technology but, Technology hasn't been on our side. Um, against all odds, you know, we're, we're, we're going to make it. Ever? We're going to do it. When is it ever? That's a great question. I feel like even when we were like next to each other, technology was it's, rarely it's really on our never side. On our side. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, but it was we, just so we, much we roll with the punches. We had the microphone. We had the microphone in front of us. That's true. Oh yeah, but um, Bianca, now since we've last met, I would like to say that I've been a busy bee, but I uh -huh. have. <laughs> I was. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about. We we're like, all right, what can we start? What can we start the podcast with? What can we start talking about? And I was looking through all the stuff like all my camera roll and all my stuff like that, my journal and stuff. And I was like, I have not done anything since I've just been working. Like I've been just been working. I've just been working on stuff like that. So I've, so Bianca, what have you been doing? Yeah, but, <laughs> the past, yeah, but the you've past been working, years? you've been working like really hard though. Like you've, you've been working and that is a lot. Like that when you work, when you're working job, that much, baby. you almost don't have time for other stuff. So that's fine. Which is, um, which is interesting just because I, I do have the perfect like schedule you know but i just still yeah i just come home and i'm like exhausted and i'm like all right i'm not doing anything today <laughs> yeah no i totally get that i i've been feeling the same um since uh since the last episode i'm still working summer camps which means my days are so long but they're so much fun they are a lot of fun. Um, I have more of a voice today, which is exciting. Um, oh, yeah. But usually at the end of my nights, I have absolutely no voice. Um, what's been happening to me? I had a birthday. I had yeah. a birthday while we were gone. Happy birthday. That was cool. She had a birthday. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> How old are you turning? You might see in... Oh, who knows? You might see in the background of uh, okay. my picture here, pointing at it, a present <laughs> from my fellow co-host yeah um it's really cool it's a clock that has the barely bearable little barely bearable besties logo on it and i love it very very much and so that's really cool um Etsy, baby yeah that, Which, was, by the that way, was like a really cool present you have no idea how way, excited i was when etsy I opened it. does etsy sponsors podcasts like i was listening to a podcast what um I was listening to a podcast, and this this episode was probably a year old, but they said, like, all right, this episode is sponsored by Etsy. And I was thinking, if I had to choose someone to be sponsored by, that'd probably That's be the them. one. Because we already have the product. Yes, and, and I'm we telling already you, have a testament. You know, we can yes. already testify. Yes. But we're not going and to for free. Nobody <laughs> yeah, But nobody has an Etsy cart fuller than mine. My Etsy cart, like, I mean, I add to it every day. I'm like, yep, I want that, and I'm going to get that, and I'm going to get that. I mean, I don't always, like, buy the stuff, but it's there. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for whenever I have money. When I have money, I'm going to click purchase, and I'm so oh, excited. Yeah. So if you um, or anyone you that, know that time works is for right Etsy, help us out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in. Talk to us. Have your people call our people, and our people are us. But the yeah. email is barelybearablebesties at gmail.com. Gmail.com. Oh, Let's go. Um, <laughs> wink um yeah so I had a birthday I have some cool stuff to talk about uh that I'm doing for my birthday 
uh, or have done already. So the the first one is the coolest, or not the coolest, I'm sorry, they're all very cool, but what are you doing? Fake smiling. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the first one is something I got to do last night that was really, really special to me. Um, if you know, my all-time favorite movie is The Princess Bride, or if you don't know, um, I am utterly obsessed with it, and I have been my entire life. I I quote it every single day. Um, I watch it all the time. It's the best movie. It's the best movie. Um, and so last night, I got to go to a really special screening of it where the main actor who plays, West, who plays Wesley, Carrie Elwes, was there. Um, and we watched the movie and the whole theater like quoted along on the, on the big lines. And then at the end he came out and told us behind the scenes stories and all this stuff. And it was just, it was just such a cool experience. And I'm so amazed and glad that I got to go. It was just like Rocky yeah. horror, but for, but for princess bride fans, <laughs> just quoting <laughs> yeah, just sure. along with it. And like, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. And get this, I forgot to tell you, Thomas, I found out today that um, a couple of my cousins and a couple of my aunts were also there. And we didn't know. We didn't see each other. Oh, that's but funny. I posted on Instagram. Yeah, I posted on Instagram today that I went and they all commented on my post and were like, what? We were there too. And I haven't seen them in years. And so that's that was like, what? How did we miss each other? So is this venue, and is it the like other a thing was, seating? Is it like seating or were you all standing? Yeah. No, no, no. It's a, it's a theater. It's actually the same place I graduated at, uh, the Marat Theater in Indianapolis. Oh. Yeah. You graduated in yeah. a city like an hour and a half away from you? I went to an online public school. Oh, right, 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 right. right. So, yeah, I went to an online public school um, that's that was Indiana Connections Academy. And so it is in the graduation is in Indianapolis, but it's people from all over Indiana coming together. In Indy. Okay. My graduation was about like 800 people, which is really cool. Whoa. And I God. believe I was number th I was number 32 in my class. Nice. Fun fact. I, see, my graduation <laughs> was at a college near us, probably like 30-ish minutes from us, Furman University. Um mm -hmm. super rich private school, but they they had a lot of like <laughs> amphitheaters and stuff like that so so we went to like their music hall where they do like where actually cool. the year before i had watched my cousin who's a music major give his like senior whatever a uh, performance and all hmm. so the same room as that that's really cool and it was it was cool there, oh god it's actually we can talk about this just for a second because we um yeah sure just recently graduated how do you feel about people who like shout during when their child comes by. Oh, do it. Do I it. I agree. Of course. I agree. I, th yeah, they're going to tell you to be quiet, and I don't care. Yell, scream, be proud. This is a big deal. The only thing. Just just don't do it for a really long time. Exactly. Like, See, do it we, just for your person. I was fine with any everybody screamed and all that at our graduation, our college graduation. Yeah. But then this one guy who was in a, in a fraternity, they did, like, the whole chant, their whole fraternity that chant. That was too much. And I was like, that's dumb. Stop. <laughs> no because it started to go over the next person and that's that's not fair that takes away from their achievements as well yeah. only yell for during your person but i feel like the people um, who are always on the stands like on the podiums reading the, the voices there should always be give a th two second pause in between each person you know just right? just for posterity you know uh, just for just for security <laughs> i don't know what posterity means oh <laughs> um i don't think it means that but it's fine um <laughs> but what i was gonna say oh tell me if i'm crazy because i might be but You're crazy. does it feel to you like thank you <laughs> like uh to me it feels like my high school graduation wasn't that long ago but graduating college feels like it was forever ago and that's the opposite like i like i feel like i graduate i feel like graduation was last year and it was like last month but my high school graduation to me in my memory doesn't feel like it was that long ago. I think that our, my college graduation feels like a long time ago. And it's been about a month now. But yeah. I also think my high school graduation feels like so long ago because so much in my life has changed since then. Mm -hmm. You know, like like for one, I have a beard. I have a podcast. <laughs> I... I 
am not dating the same person I was back then. I'm, I don't have the same friends, you know, so like mm-hmm. think just so much of my life changed in those four years since my high school graduation that I think it just yeah. feels like a, a, it feels like a lifetime ago. I was such a different person. And maybe that's why it's, well, maybe that's why it doesn't feel like that for me because I'm back. I'm kind of back, not where I was in high school. I'm much further along, but in the in same, uh, no, <laughs> no, not at all what I'm saying. Definitely, definitely not true. Um, but I just mean, like, like, like my graduation was at the Marat Theater and I've gone to a lot of concerts at the Marat. And so I think I'm just there more often. So it, it feels like it well, wasn't okay. long ago because I've yeah. been at the, in the same building since. Memories came back with that, I guess. Yeah. I guess so. Anyways, but also, um, sorry, just are one you, more okay, thing I have it. Is that also you? My okay, favorite, one of my favorite bands, The Descendants, was playing in the in the Marat <laughs> Theater or at the whatever it's called, the old they're National in the, Mall or whatever. They're both both the same thing, not mall, but yeah. But yeah, so so um, you could have gone to see them too. So you could have gone to see a '80s hardcore band, but no, you decided to do the Princess Bride thing. It was fine. <laughs> No, they were playing in the Egyptian room, which is where I saw Andy Grammer last year on my birthday. Oh, cool. And that's that's more standing. They they have like seating options as well, but it's more of a standing room. Well, I, I mean, um, it's one of those things where like I would I'm perfectly content standing for 2 or 3 hours for a concert. If you told me to go and watch um <laughs> to go and watch a movie a, Mar- Avengers Endgame while standing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a little different. That's weird. No, for sure. <laughs> so what else um, did you go on your own? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, okay, a couple things. One, on my birthday, I worked at the gym and it was lots of fun because all of the little kids that I coach brought me like cards and cookies. Um, one of the moms of a little girl at the gym, she owns a bakery where she makes like really fancy cakes like like the like the cool expensive cakes right and she made me a cake she and and thomas i mean it was the best cake i've ever had in my life it was so good okay. it is delicious All right. that's awesome it was really good it was and, so and it, wasn't it had like, like the, this it wasn't brown. like the carlos bakery like like a uh, fancy no, but, it, no, but no, no. it's just artistic there's it's just mostly like rice cakes <laughs> and fondant no it wasn't that it wasn't that no it but it had uh raspberries on top which are my favorite fruit if you remember so i had raspberries on top and this like drizzle down the side and it was ah it was so good anyways yeah. um so i had a really i had a really good day but good. the presents that my mom gave me throughout the day were different than regular day. presents because you know yeah, usually you open presents and it's like, oh, this is what I got. I got text messages of my presents throughout the day. And so the first one I got, I was really excited. I I don't know the dates off the top of my head, but I got tickets to go see a 502s concert. And the 502s happened to be one of my favorite bands. Ooh. And so that was really cool. And so I'm really excited about that. It's, I think, next month. Um, and then another text I got later in the day was uh i got tickets to go see an andy grammar concert and i was like oh my gosh i get to see andy grammar and the 502s this is so cool isn't that right. awesome yeah yeah um also just so that people know i just feel like we have to mention it we are working with figuring out the delay there's a slight delay in us hearing each other and we're trying to figure that out so if you notice yeah. it i'm sorry we're trying it's not as bad um, as it was last anyways week, yeah, but I think it's starting to get worse on my end because now agree. I'm hearing more of a delay. I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's driving worse. me crazy, but it's it's slowly getting worse. Yeah, but that's fine. We're doing our best. Anyways, um, the third one, Thomas, are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. This is a big deal. Wait, the third what? The the third thing that I got for my birthday. Oh, you got. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got tickets to go see a Beyonce concert. <laughs> what? I'm going to see Beyonce. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? Jesus. Where? Yeah. So, uh, Memphis. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, I think it's Memphis. It's either Memphis or Nashville. I'm pretty sure it's Memphis though. Um, but but yeah, so it's really cool. So and then then the, then the other thing that I kind of asked for, but it w- was the um the Princess Bride uh screening that we saw last night. But the, the but the three things were the 502s tickets, the Andy Grammer tickets, and the Beyonce tickets, which is pretty awesome. So that that's really awesome. That's that's that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really exciting. But the screening of the Princess Bride was really awesome too. So, so yeah, that's that's the stuff. That's the things. Very cool. <laughs> and and wait a second. Wait yeah. a second. And you got a T-shirt and a clock. <laughs> I did, and I love them so much. <laughs> I like. I wish I should have Facetime so you to open them it. because I I put out the clock. You're not wearing it every single day. I I the am shirt, not the clock. I am no, I am I am wearing it every single day, which just is not but on you the know I, okay. just not on the podcast. That would be too much, I think. No, I'm just I kidding, think, I'll wear it next time. I'll wear it I was gonna week. say, I was like, I think that people would love to see it. <laughs> and I'll wear it next week, I promise. Um I gotta get the right glasses for it. Oh my green ones would work. Okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> you gotta Anyways. match your glasses to it. <laughs> I do. It's important to me. Yes, I agree. Um, I agree. <laughs> so what are this we talking about today, me. Bianca? What is our main topic today? What are we talking about? Okay, so we talked about, um, we wanted to kind of quiz our viewers and see if you really knew us. And uh, we asked some questions on Instagram of who's more likely to blink. And we had you guys guess. We are going to tell you whether you are right, whether you are wrong, and then we're going to talk about some more uh, more who's most likely if, to type things. And Correct me if I'm wrong. Did we not do something similar to this on our old podcast? On our old podcast with the, with the three of us, yeah, I believe we did. We didn't okay. ask Instagram, though. No, we didn't. We, we did more... I bet We did more we specifically at, high um, school superlatives. I bet if we look at like our Instagram, we had maybe six followers. <laughs> At the time, yeah. I think we had more. Huh. I'm um, checking. Now that, well, while she's checking, I should also mention to you guys that I just finished my last episode of my podcast that's been going on for about three years, The Smiling Grand Unicorn of Doom. Um, it is on Spotify, so I would... I would love it if you guys would check out that last episode. We did a Q&A, and we talked about our future plans and stuff like that. So, It made me was, cry. Did you cry? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> I don't so know. I, I couldn't help it. So if you guys want to cry, go ahead and check out that on Spotify, exclusively <laughs> on Spotify. Um, thanks in advance. <laughs> so um, we took okay, the Okay, so, so should we, like, should, should we jump into it? Yeah. You have it okay. up. I don't have it. Um, so the f- I do, I do, I do. So the first question I asked on Instagram was, who do you think is more outgoing or extroverted? Okay. And the vast majority of people voted that I am more outgoing and extroverted than you in, in, in their guess. Um, 88% to 12%. I want to know who's, and so what 12, do, what? Who, who's in that 12%. <laughs> Why? Why? What do you mean? I want to know who thinks that I'm more extroverted than you. Oh, well, I can tell you after. I don't have that part up. No, I know, but, no, not um, on air. I just, I just want to see who. Because oh, okay. If if my knowledge serves me correctly, we did this weeks ago. Um, the polls did me dirty in like in almost every <laughs> aspect. Like, I don't think I. I don't I think was, so. I don't think I got picked for a lot for most of the things. Yes, you did. We'll get there. Hold on. We'll Let's there. start okay. with this one. So, what do you think? Also, it's not like being more extroverted is a good thing, necessarily. I wouldn't say they did you dirty. But um, what what do you think between the two of us? Who do you think is more outgoing or extroverted? Well, it, it, to me, it's, a, it's, it's, it's this weird thing where it's like, okay, like th- we talked about this in our last episode, and this is not the – you wanted a short answer, I'm sure, but um, – yeah, that's fine. But I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like you you can be good at talking to people. You can be you can be let's say loud or or or, or animated or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
and not necessarily either enjoy it or not go out of your way to do it or feel drained while after you do it. And you can be the exact opposite. You can be not very good at it. You can be awkward and you can, but you can still love it. You can still go out of your way to try to talk to people. And um, in my opinion, I, I think that just from past experiences, I'm more extroverted than you, which is something that they clearly do not agree with. The audience does not agree with, but I, it's, I, not, it's not, it's not that they don't agree. They're taking guesses. They don't like know us. They're taking guesses. And I do think people, probably almost all the people are people we know. <laughs> Right, but that doesn't mean they know us. That's true. That's true. And, you don't know anything. And I do think, especially None if you're if you're looking at social media, if you're looking at social media, probably I appear more extroverted. Um, and well, it's really funny because I talked to my mom about this yesterday. I said, "Who do you think is more extroverted?" And she was like, "You for sure." And I was like, uh, "But I, but not really though, <laughs> because I." I love being around people and I love, I love performing and doing all these things and having, I don't know. I like, I, I like doing all that. However, if I had to pick between like being in a group of people or hanging out with like my parents or you, I would, I would pick just us any day. I, mm -hmm. I would pick just you or just my parents any day over hanging out with a group of people. Uh, and, and so in that, in that, um, part of it, I would say you, I think you thrive more with more people than I do. <laughs> Does that oh, make yeah. sense? No, no, absolutely. Like, like, I, I think you do better. Like, you do better in a giant group of people than I do. And I love being in a giant group of people. And, and I mean, you know me, good God, I can talk. Um, I, <laughs> and, and I just enjoy it. I really do. And I, I would, again, I would say that I'm more extroverted if we're looking at it. I think we're both fairly extroverted people. Um, I don't No, I'm definitely extroverted. I'm not trying to say I'm introverted. I know that I'm not. However, I do also uh, hate everybody. People are the worst, but I think that's <laughs> the universal opinion now. I, I think if that's not your opinion, you're wrong. Okay. Is that not your opinion? Do you not think that people are the worst? People are the worst, Thomas. Not generally, this is here, oh, the, and anyways. you got mad at me, but no, I generally think, they're the worst. No, I, 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 you got mad at me, but I, I, in in the past, mostly as a joke, described our dynamic as you're like the black cat friend, and I'm like the golden retriever friend, and you're like no, and <laughs> but then it was like, but it's because like, that's no, not fair. If you, if you look at how. If you look at both of us, because, I think it makes a lot more sense. Right, but but if you look at me next to anyone else, I'm the golden retriever friend for sure. For sure. But in our dynamic argue, somehow. Are we going to fight over this title? Because I don't know if we should. <laughs> what? Are we going to fight over this title? Like, no, I'm oh. the golden retriever friend because I don't think we should. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying in our dynamic, though, it does switch to Black Cat and Golden Retriever. And I don't know why. Because in everyone, everywhere else, I'm definitely the other one. <laughs> but I don't know. I, if we look so, at it, like, I, I, um, I feel like I'm, pre I'm really good at, mm, I go out of my way to try to talk to people every single day. I go out of my way to, like, hang out well, with people. Well, me too. I am, I didn't, I didn't say you weren't. I'm talking about me. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry. I like every time when I when we were in college, I would be the one who would organize stuff, and I would invite as many people as I could. Um, mm -hmm. just every single time. Meanwhile, I, meanwhile, I would invite you to things. Right, and I, like so, I, I don't know. You I know don't what know I mean? what that makes us. Yeah, I don't know what that makes us. If that makes us both introverts, extroverts, whatever. But like, I, yeah. I always am was the one who would invite people host i won't say parties but host like things get think get stuff yeah. together events uh, uh, events whatever because i just loved it so much and i still do and i still hope to invite as many people over as possible to when i get my own place and stuff like that yeah i do love hosting things though oh i i when, when i like host people over for a movie night i take it so seriously I oh, take yeah. it so seriously. I love it. I have a specific mug picked out for every person that's going to come over. I have a, a spread of snacks, mostly snacks I don't even like. But like I know people like Doritos, so I'll bring Doritos. I take it so seriously. I love hosting. 
Oh yeah, no. I think you called great. me. You it. called me. Uh, you called me Monica crazy one time because of it. Okay, so do we want to dive into that story just for a second? Sure. So, so when I meant by that was if you've ever watched Friends, the TV show, the sitcom from the '90s, Friends, um, there's a character named Monica, and she would host things. And there was, I think, there was one or two episodes where she'd like host a party, and she'd be really like, she she's one of those people that was like, I gotta make sure everybody is having fun and they're having fun the right way. Yes. So we're we're yeah. hanging out at it. Was it your was it your apartment? Yeah, it was my apartment. So it was her apartment, and and we're having a movie night. We're watching Christmas movie night, and she made like this big hot chocolate <laughs> bar. Like she had this thing, and then like. I, I think I like put I like didn't put any toppings in my hot chocolate or something. She was like, What are you doing? You the, you well, gotta have this, this and this and this and stuff like that. <laughs> and she did no, it with multiple well, people. First it was, <laughs> no, I did not. No, I did not. What it was first was that you reached for the wrong mug. And I was like, No, I was I was gonna give that mug to Marquez. Like like that was our that was his mug. He wanted that one. I wanted him to want that one. <laughs> Yeah, and 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 you and, understand that that makes you sound a little unhinged. Yeah, but wasn't it fun? <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah, but I think I would have had the. I don't think my the level of fun was hindered nor elevated by which mug I had. <laughs> no, it was. It was no because you had you had the one with a beagle on it. And I thought you would like that one. And you did. <laughs> I was offended that you didn't try to grab it. Because I thought of you for it. <laughs> Anyways. Right, what's the next one? Okay. The next one we asked was who's a better cook. And there is a definitive answer for this. And everyone agreed. Because <laughs> 73% voted for you. And 27 voted for me. All right. And so... to the 27% 27 of you that voted for me. You're wrong. You're very wrong. Yeah, no, like, like this isn't even a like. I feel like the last one we we it was like inconclusive. We both agreed it was me, but like only sort of. Sort of, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like this one, yeah, it's me. I mean, it's it's just me. <laughs> yeah, it's you. It's and that you. is not to say yeah. that I'm a good cook. Oh no, but um, can I can I tell a quick story? What I have two stories mean. to tell. <laughs> oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was saying what that does I thought you were gonna mean say... is that you, it's not, it's not indicative of my ability to cook. It's indicative of your ability to cook. <laughs> I'm a very bad cook. I'm a very bad cook, but I think I'm a better baker than you. <laughs> I'm not the one who burnt the cookies, Thomas. That was you. No, but you also didn't cook them any time after. Yeah, I have. I cooked no, them so many times no, after. No, no, no. I did. You just weren't there. <laughs> okay, then, so what were yeah, you going to say? Anyways, so part of the reason I am a known bad cook, I think this is fairly common knowledge. Actually, the little girls that I coach tease me about it. They like to bring it up. And they say, they'll be like, yeah, so how many fires have you started again, Bianca? And wow. they like want me to tell the stories all the time. Um, and the answer is two. I've started two fires while cooking. Um and the uh, most recent one was like two weeks ago when I burnt my phone case. Oh my I caught my phone case on fire. Yeah, I caught my phone case on fire because it has this like strap to it that finally broke because I burnt it. So it has a strap like this. And you can see that it's charred and burnt <laughs> and now it's ripped. Oh my God. Um, but so I was watching Project Runway while making Velveeta macaroni and cheese, as you do. And... I didn't realize that the strap like went under the pot. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there stirring my macaroni. And then I was like, what is that weird smell? And then oh, I, I, I looked down and I saw that my phone case was under the thing and, and I picked it up and it started to catch on fire and I go, fuh, 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 and I tried to blow it out really fast and it, and it went out, but, but it went psh, down my phone case. Oh, and so quick? that was my most recent fire. Yeah, it was really fast. Oh my god, your your phone it was case scary. Is like a fuse. It was really scary. I need a new phone case. <laughs> but um, 
Oh, that thought you. Loved so that was the most too. recent fire. I do. I know it's sad, but I haven't. That's why I haven't gotten a new one yet. But the other fire I've started while cooking was also Velveeta macaroni and cheese, and I was just stop making thirteen it. years old. No, I can't. It's how I survive. <laughs> it is my only sustenance. But um. I was 13 years you know, old. I'm sorry. And... Do you have a problem with that sentence or? <laughs> I don't need it on the record, but it's too late. Um... <laughs> um, I, anyways, I was 13 years old. It was my first time making it by myself. I had made, I had made it many times, but like usually my dad was also there. Um, and my dad wasn't home and my mom was asleep. I think it was like two in the morning. And and I was like, I'm hungry. I want mac and cheese. And so I decided to make it and I pour the thing, I stir the thing, and I was really scared of burning myself. And so I put on two oven mitts. That way I wouldn't burn myself, you know, thinking, smart. <laughs> and so I have my two oven mitts and I'm cooking. And I was like, this is easy. I can do this. And I'm re resting my oven mitt like on the pot. And then the oven mitt caught on fire and I panic, <laughs> panic. And what I could have done, what I could have done, the, the stove is here, the sink is right here. I could have just turned around and put it out. Not what I did. Sorry, is, uh, just My oven mitt is on say, fire. You, how old were you? Oh yeah, sorry. 13. Okay. Too old, too old for this. Okay, yeah. Um, so with the oven mitt on my hand on fire, I run through the house. I open the door to my mom's room. I wake up my mom with fire in her face and scream, it's on fire, it's on fire. And my mom wakes up to fire, my hand on fire in her face, screaming, then go put it out. And so I run all, again, I pass the bathroom that's in my mom's room. I pass the bathroom in the hallway. I run all the way back to the kitchen and put it in the sink to put it out. And so that is the uh, two fires. Two fires I've started while making Velveeta macaroni and cheese. I've also broken three toasters, but that's a difference. That's. I'm not a cook. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Clearly not. And and I don't. But you're think... very good. You... Uh, I don't think I am. But for the sake of I this, think you're good. You for the me... sake of this contest, um, I don't think I need to be. I think I think I need to be able to make ramen and not burn it and be better. <laughs> But you send me pictures of the meals you make, and they're like, they look good. They look good. They're okay. I'm getting Often. there. Yeah. Although there was one time you sent me a picture of one of your meals, and I didn't have my glasses on, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that looks so good. I, I like That looks like what I had for dinner, too. And then later I put my glasses on, and I was like, that is not at all what I thought it was. And it still <laughs> looks great, but it looks like a completely different meal, and that's how badly I need glasses. That should have been a question. Which one of us needs glasses more? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I don't know who the answer is. Um, okay. I was mad at you for wanting this one. So for anyone listening, I this was not a question I wanted to ask. Thomas made us ask this question. And oh, the question was, who is more stylish? Because that's not a factual answer. That's an opinion-based question. And therefore, it does not belong uh, in this book. I think there's a, I think there's an answer. <laughs> wow okay what okay, do you think well, the what? answer is oh i think it's me um <laughs> <laughs> well because because i didn't like the question i added in the third option which was bingo um that's good bingo, i'm glad that we're a if team you don't here. remember to our <laughs> i'm glad we're a team who who respects <laughs> I, each other's I asked opinions the question. and wishes and and all that i'm glad that that's how i asked the works. question i i wow Okay, here's the next question for the audience. I thought it was a who's cute answer. Friend? <laughs> oh. Who's who's wow. meaner? Answer Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> Black cat, going to retrieve it. Yeah, exactly. But Anyways. if you look at our styles, oh. it's the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, Have you seen that meme? Anyways, where it's like that, uh, um, it's those two friends, and one has like the rainbow hair, and one is like the goth girl. And it'll be like, yes. <laughs> so it'd be like, it'd be like, I'd be the personality, personality. And then we should post it on our story. Swap for styles. <laughs> or, 
or even like the houses that are next to each other. Yes, yes, that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. The pink house and the black house, and then there's also that like tan house, and that's bingo! Oh, how hey. perfect. All right, sorry. What did what were, what did um, the audience? So, so, anyways, um, twelve percent voted for you. <laughs> uh, thirty-seven percent voted for me, and fifty-one percent voted for bingo, which is the correct answer. He's naked. Yeah, but he has a bow. What kind of Chippendales like stuff is this? <laughs> <laughs> Like what, like, what, like what? Is that the bar? <laughs> Bars know, are cute. I know how we're gonna get our views to get sponsored. <laughs> it's what the audience oh, asks boy. for. It's what the audience wants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're not wrong. Um. Okay. I, I think no, no, no. I think that I'm a oh, little offended. Okay. I'm a little offended because. My fashion has done a 180 just in the past year. This is year. true. This is true. And I'm just a little offended that it's not it doesn't seem to get the recognition it deserves. Well, no, let's let's speak let's hold on. Hold on because here's where it's not fair. These questions were asked on my Instagram. So those people don't know you. A lot of the people who voted don't know you. Uh, oh, you know what? That so it's so that's from not the fair. Start. <laughs> no, but none this. of them, none of the people I knew, all of the people I know voted bad cook, bad cook, and I was like, yeah, I get it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not it's not a rigged question. Um, just I just saying, mean that one know. is an opinion based question and therefore unfair. But mm. I agree, and actually, I was telling my mom this. One of my favorite parts about our friendship. And this is such a silly thing, but I really do love it is sometimes, okay, when, when we lived, when we were neighbors, you would walk over and be like, look how cute my outfit is today. And I would be like, your outfit is so cute today. <laughs> and then I would text you and be like, okay, you have to see how cute I look today. And you'd be like, I love your outfit. And I'd be like, I know. And it was great. <laughs> and I love that. Oh, yeah. And so even now, some, even now, sometimes you'll like send me pictures and be like, outfit of the day and that's not what you say at all but that's what i that's no, what i, would I say. never say outfit of the um, day. to be fair no, though when i know I you would first started teaching i would take a picture of myself every single day and say teacher outfit of the day i know um but then i stopped doing that i loved that it's just because it, that's a lot of pictures <laughs> and i have no problem with that you can send me all of them always perfect well i don't i don't i love them all yeah it's hard it's hard to be fashionable okay. when it's when it's 95 degrees outside and 80 percent humidity that's true <laughs> That's true. Um, today it was 90 degrees outside and there was a tornado. That was cool. Boop, 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 it was scary, but it's cool. <laughs> that's not what the sirens sound like, but very close. Good guess. <laughs> Imagine that's what goes yeah. off every time there's a tornado. <laughs> the, the like air horn noise. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right. Okay. I want you to I want you to guess what the audience said for this one. Because I don't Who remember most is of the more questions artistic? anymore. Who is more artistic? And I'll tell you, it's really close. Okay. Hmm. So so what do you think? Because what do you this think one, the audience said? This one I feel like is more of just a guess. Because I don't... Yeah. Like, yeah, I agree. Neither of us do a lot of artistic things. So it's like, okay, who do you know? Like, who do you think is more artistic? Mm-hmm. Without too much. Well, I think mean, there's a definitive knowledge. answer. There's I, a definitive answer for sure. I think it was. Well, give me the numbers, and I'll say who who each percentage was. Fifty five percent to forty five percent. Fifty five percent voted for you. Okay. Oh, I was waiting and for what? And what, 40, are you, what about the other one? What about the four? Who did the forty five vote for? <laughs> 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 um wrong 50, 50, 55 percent voted for you and 45 percent voted for me so you won that one interesting and okay. that now here's here's what i have to say about it just really quick okay because i was a little bit upset as this was happening um i have so so i i'm a preschool gymnastics coach and so i follow a lot of the preschoolers parents on instagram and they follow me too um, and I post a lot about my, my athletes or my, my gymnast too. And so whatever, um, 
I don't know why, but every parent voted for you. <laughs> every parent of every kid voted for you. And I was like, what do you do? Why? So what you every, so Ashley's everyone, mom, what is going on? So everyone who knew you voted for me. <laughs> no, but they, but but that's the thing though. I've never said I'm not artistic. I've never tried to draw in front of them. They were taking a random guess and were like, oh, it's not her. It's gotta be him. <laughs> oh, and I man. was offended. I was offended. They're right, but hey, <laughs> come on. Yeah, no, um, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's like a secret talent, but it's a little bit of a hidden talent that you're you're like really good at drawing stuff. You're really good at drawing stuff. Am I? I know you do. You don't. You are. You are. You're so creative, and you've got you've got the drawing talents, and you draw fun things and fun doodles. You created our last logo, and you created the mock up for this logo. Not the final one, but the mock up. <laughs> Definitely did not create the final one. I didn't create the. Oh, I did Shout create the last Megan. logo, didn't I? You well, did. I cr- no, I created, no, in. I created the mock-up for for that for that one. Yeah, so you. I, I got. I got. I got the and vision. I don't got the talent. <laughs> no, not true. Because so <laughs> we don't need to go into the into this. But basically, last not last year, the year before, I was in a class that I hated. I did not like this class. I did not want to take this class, um, but I had to. And so there was one day. I have no always idea. Always pay you're attention in class, this. kids. It's fine. Kids, if you're listening, pay attention in class. But I wasn't paying attention in class one day. It didn't matter. I didn't want to be there. And so I spent the whole class doodling. And I am not good at drawing. And so I was just like trying really hard to draw things. And I don't know why, but I was like, I want to draw an elephant. And. <laughs> They are the scariest looking, most deformed, not elephants that you've ever seen. I mean, and so I was like, wow, elephants like are really hard to draw from memory. And, and so I started asking all of my friends like, hey, draw an elephant. And I was wanting to prove to myself that elephants are hard to draw and most people probably just can't draw one. Um, and that's not what happened. Every every friend I sent that to texted back with a like perfect elephant. And I was upset. But well, your elephant was my favorite. Well, because I do remember most of the time you would draw a little smiley face and it'd be over the trunk. So it'd be like the smiley face and then the trunk's <laughs> like right here. Well, and I couldn't get I couldn't get the like hump to fit with What do you mean the, the hump? It's back? Nose? <laughs> What is the yeah, hump? Yeah, like the like you know the like, you couldn't get you know the big back, part. You couldn't get its back to fit with the trunk. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> the the I'm not artistic bones, is what it means. Connected to the trunk bone. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyways. I, I, yeah, I I, okay. I definitely try a lot of artistic things i'm if we don't if we i don't even know how broad you were thinking about the definition of artistic but i i I was in a band i do music you know stuff like that i've made the music for this for pretty much every podcast i've ever been a part of i've done the music for it including this wait i i want to say something yeah that's true and you're so good at it i love that i love that but i want to say something that makes me sad okay are you ready okay great Sorry, my back is bleeding. So, what happened? There's like blood on my neck. Oh no, I'm happened. sorry. I got bit by a vampire, oh, guys. Okay. Okay. I um <laughs> I got a bug bite. I got a bug bite right here. You put that, a bandage on that a bug that makes bite. Makes you feel better. Yeah, because I was scratching it and I wanted to stop scratching it. You so just I put did a bandage. The human on equivalent of putting a cone around your neck. <laughs> 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 yeah, but it matched my outfit. That is true. It's that's, yellow and pink. That's great. Yes. I was thank you thank you it's the it's the little things in life anyways the 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 thing that makes me sad is I can't sing and that well hold on I can't sing and that doesn't make me sad because I love to sing and I sing all the time what makes me sad is now all the time I I, I sing all the time whatever song is on I'm singing along and I have I have one of my friends right now that every time I sing they cover their ears 
and they go, oh, oh my and God. it's rude. That's horrible. It's rude, and it God. makes me sad, and I don't like it. It's not a funny joke. No, that's awful. <laughs> I know. I know. And they and they think it's funny and I'm like, it's not funny though. That's not but funny. But it's a little bit, but it's not funny. But um but no, I can't sing. When I was a little kid, I wanted to be on Broadway. And so my parents put me in vocal lessons and the voice coach told my parents, like, hey, so you should stop wasting your money. She can't sing. And my parents were not offended. And I was like, okay, noted, and then move on. I don't know. Like everyone thinks that's the saddest thing, and I was just like, "Got it. Next, next talent. That's not mine." Oh well. But yeah. I so guess I guess the are, answer is you. Even though, are. even though I, I am definitively a better dancer. Yes. In that yes. artistic sense. Well, in that artistic seen, sense, I am a very good dance, dancer. But you, you win that one. Ready? Go. Oops. 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 Go dance. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, and and as for for singing, let's just say I am a good singer for a punk band, <laughs> and and that's about that's about it. I think that's fair. That's fair. Um, and then the very last one we asked our audience was, "Who do you think drinks more water?" And it was forty seven percent to fifty three percent, and I was shocked, but they voted for me. Because they voted that, that I drink well, more water. Assume that because well, well, there are a few things happening here. One, if you look at both of okay. us, you can tell who exercises more. I mean, and I think that assumption comes with the idea that you'd actually take care of yourself and drink water. But like, <laughs> but what do they know? Wait, so <laughs> I have no. Hold on, I have the correct answer to this. Do you want to know what the correct answer is? what the correct answer is you thomas drink more water during the day and i bianca drink more water at night that is the correct answer but if we look at totals who do you think drinks more water probably you because i definitely probably drink, you but you need more water well, i definitely drink at least you need more water six or seven bottles of water every day At least. Wow. <laughs> and to, there is a, there is, I mean, I'm almost, I'm probably twice your size. So like. Yeah. So I would say I, I probably have two or three on a good day. Well, and I don't, I don't know what the Which thing is, but like, lot. I'm, I'm a lot, Wait. I'm about a foot taller than you. I'm more than a foot. I'm like a foot and a half. More taller than that. Than, I'm like a foot yeah. and a half taller than you. And I'm at least twice your weight. So I probably do need, I won't say twice as much yeah. water as you do, but i decent amount of more water than you definitely i would say we're both pretty hydrated i mean if you look at my no. the amount of water bottles in my room what i don't want to call you out but like you i literally drove you to the hospital because you were dehydrated <laughs> no hold on that is not fair i was sick just... no i had a i had a very bad flu that's not fair i'm just saying you can't say you cannot say you can't say, oh yeah, we drink, we're we're both hydrated, and then but like, <laughs> I am so hydrated. You aren't though. the amount of water bottles. Yes, I am. The amount of empty water bottles in my room. I sleep drink. I drink but in my three, sleep. Three a day. I know. I, I'm not. Yeah, and then like at least person. one in the night. I'm not a, like look at like clearly look at me. I'm the pinnacle of human health, and I I and I know <laughs> that that's not enough. <laughs> that's not true. It's with so much. It's, it's a good amount. Anyways, that's all the questions we asked on our now social we're media. Offended. Now we're all offended. <laughs> now we're all mad. Everybody's angry. Yeah. Thanks I, a lot, viewers. Yeah. We're all like, we have, we all we'll have our things. You're like, no, I'm hydrated. And I'm like, and I'm like, no, I'm stylish. <laughs> like, <laughs> we, we I'm hydrated. I drink my water. Yeah, we all have uh, our things. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Um, so we have a few. Okay, more so you minutes. want to ask some more questions? Yeah, we have a few more minutes. Yeah, so we, we figured good. it might be. Yeah, we got time. It might be cool to get to know us a little better because, like, we've given you some. We've we've established that y'all don't know who we are. Clearly, apparently <laughs> not. Apparently not. 
So we figured we'd give you a little bit more insight, sort of a superficial fun stuff, not like we're not doing some what are your biggest fears sort of thing. Actually, that might be a question on here. I'm not sure. but <laughs> Dolphins, but anyways. <laughs> Mine are chimpanzees, but we don't have to talk about that. Um, oh, perfect. Okay, done. Move on. All right, so I'm going to – give me a second. I'm going to have to dual screen okay. us for a second. Well, so I have I, – I was going to read some of our more um, – uh who's most likely to type of things yes perfect and so the first one um I, I, so sorry, first one just, we'll sorry say to interrupt. um i think that it might be best to stick with those since we took more time i agree i thought. agree okay well because we took a lot more we time did. to they're, get here than we thought which is perfect yeah they're at the bottom of the list um okay. so first one is uh who's who's clumsier who's most likely to trip in front of a crowd um well <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. I know what you're thinking. Uh huh. Because you did this at your at your high school graduation. Yeah. But I do want to point Maybe out. Maybe that's why it seems like it wasn't that long ago. The the like the <laughs> embarrassment like stays further up. To be fair, I want to point out that I last year fell down my the stairs of my apartment. Um. Oh. And I want to point out that during my high school play, I ran into a door that was open, like on stage in <laughs> front of everybody. So, I mean, the whole oh, it's, it's so one funny. of those things that's Where's like bad. The, the worst part is nobody recorded that play because the lead didn't memorize their lines. <laughs> so, but um, it, oh um, geez, we is it was one of those things that's like the worst thing the audience can do is I hit the door and then you hear the whole audience. <gasps> <laughs> Which is so embarrassing. It's like the worst thing ever. Oh my gosh. I was like, and I was like, it's one of those things where like when you do that and someone's like, oh my God, are you okay? You're like, no, leave me alone. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I totally understand. All right. So, um, so, but I'll still say you generally. But I, I think generally it's me though, because I mean, I trip constantly. I have so many bruises all the time from falling. I just fall down all the time. The other day we were we were working out and we were benching and I went to sit down on my bench and I fell backwards off of it and my feet went over my head. Oh god. I just missed I just missed sitting down. So <laughs> I'm funny. I'm pretty I'm pretty darn clumsy. Where okay. are, sorry, um, where did you Oh you you're going bottom from the, of the bottom list. up. Bottom. Okay. Literally the bottom. Okay. Yeah, because the bottom the bottom is more of those ones. Um, well, so okay, who's most likely I, to go on fine. Jeopardy? That's fine. I don't need to. I thought we were taking turns. I didn't think you were there yet. I didn't think it you were there yet. It doesn't take me that long to scroll to the bottom of a list. <laughs> Sorry. Who's Anyways, who's most Jeopardy? likely to go on Jeopardy? I don't, I don't want to go on Jeopardy. I have no desire to go on Jeopardy. To okay, be fair, well, though. Who would be more likely to know an answer? One answer. I mean, so... I, there was one, there's a few times where my sisters and I will like go on Jeop, or not go on Jeopardy, we'll like watch Jeopardy <laughs> and we'll try to play along. And I do okay. I probably get like maybe two questions per board right. <laughs> yeah, maybe. but um, so this is another thing I love, I love about being your friend. And I know this sounds so silly, but I feel like I'm always learning things from you. Like, I, I like you just seem to know things and, and, and not like, I don't know, like random facts. Like you have random facts all the time, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know that, and and I I enjoy that, and so I think you would do better on Jeopardy than I would. Uh, I yeah, I guess. Well, because I think I think it's one of the, just one of those things where like, and I'm not saying you don't, but just how I, and I'm I'm just speaking for me, not for you. I I just have a lot of really weird interests that i'll just like i will literally spend hours just looking through stuff on wikipedia like that kind of thing and i'm not saying right. you don't have like weird niche interests and stuff like that but like i just have a lot of weird i know a lot about sports i know a lot well, of comic think, books i know you know like that kind of stuff well i think my problem is i am on the side which is wrong but i am on the side of if i don't feel 100 percent correct about an answer I would rather just not answer but like i have to i have to know that what i'm saying is correct to say it oh and jeopardy like i don't want to risk getting a question wrong yes yes 
Well, you just yeah. write, so, I don't and, know. Which is what exams are a problem for me. <laughs> well, yeah. Which is what I did on one of my last exams in college. I um for every question. I, I don't know. Out. I don't know. I really don't know. I got called out because I was um talking to someone and we were talking about movies and she we were talking about this, you know, it was called Scary Movie. It's like a, a parody of uh-huh. horror films. And I rem- I just yeah. knew I just knew a dumb fact about it because I've never seen the movie, but I used to work in a movie store. So I said, like, oh yeah, well in the first one she has blonde hair, but in the other in the second one she has brown hair. And she was like you're a psychopath. Mm-hmm. Why do you know that? <laughs> but I just know weird stuff. Like I don't that. think that's the psychopath thing. She I mean, if me. okay, to be to be fair, if uh, if the category was the Princess Bride, I got you. Oh yeah, got you, got you. Okay, go All ahead, right. pick one. So this one's hard. Who is most likely to eat all the popcorn while watching a movie? Is that hard? Do you think that's hard? I think people would be tempted to say you because you are a uh-huh. popcorn um, connoisseur. Uh-huh. But I think, again, because I am literally twice your size, I eat very quickly and eat twice as no. much as you do. <laughs> no, I disagree. I disagree. I think I could eat way more popcorn than you. If we were sitting next to each other and it was a contest, I would win. But that's not okay, what the question's next, asking. Next question, that's not what the question's asking. No, but ne- if we share it, no, bowl, but the next question I'm... is who's more competitive, and the answer is me. Oh, then yes, yes, the answer is you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. but but no, I I think uh, I think me because you will eat the kernels, but I'll eat the rest. Yeah, but I would prefer the pop. I prefer the popcorn to the kernels. I know, but but who's I like who's like no, no no no. I, I, I just I want the kernels. <laughs> Just give me the curve. <laughs> I don't know. I think me. Oh think God! Me. Some of these are. Some of these questions are. Um, I told you I copied them from different websites. Uh, and that they were all like different categories, and I that most yeah, of them yeah. I didn't like. Um. Okay. Who do you think is most likely to um? Let's change the phrasing. Uh, cause it says run a marathon, but I don't know if either of us would do that. But who's most likely to run? What, like, even if it's a five k <laughs> or something? Away from my feelings. Would you run absolutely. a marathon? Absolutely. <laughs> so there was a there was a, a um there was a very brief amount of time where I looked up and printed out how to train for a. 5k my mm-hmm. thought process was this was recently like like last semester yeah. my thought process wasn't i'm going to run a 5k or whatever my thought process was if i train as if i am then i'll just get in shape mm-hmm. like i don't really necessarily want that to makes run sense. A 5k and that lasted about a week <laughs> Not because it was hard, just because I have trouble sticking to things like that, but I'm working on it. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. But it'd be me. Yeah. But it, it just, it'd be me. <laughs> it would 100% be you because you, um, you will run. You will run if you like, like, like for, for, for fun, you, you would do that. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't, I think running is the worst. Running is the worst thing a human can do. And I avoid it at all costs. But when we get attacked like, by a by a bear, when we get attacked by a land shark, Bianca. No, who's hold on, come out hold on, top? hold on. Because the problem is not problem. I am very good at running. I am so good at running that I have been recruited by a college coach to be on the track team. I am very fast, but I hate it. Hate running so much. It, yeah, but here's I'm and, just and here's what's that, funny: like, land sharks are I, endurance are endurance hunters, Bianca. So, uh huh. And actually, because <laughs> you when, you got a better score than me on the um on the running test <laughs> on our on our running exam, so. But again, that's I I'm good at it. I don't like it. But I was telling someone about this um uh, a couple of days ago, and and um no, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh my gosh, ah, it's gone. But but the point is i 
I don't ever want to have, I don't ever want to run anything. I won a 5k once. I think I was like 14 and I, I got first place and it was a big division, but I told my mom, the only reason I won is because I wanted to be done running. So I ran very, very, very fast so that I could finish, so that I could well, be okay. done. And, and I wouldn't I have to run anymore. The general anymore. consensus of this, of this question is that it, it, I don't, putting motivation oh, aside, I am in tremendously terrible shape and Bianca is in fantastic shape. So I think who's better <laughs> equipped to run a marathon is absolutely <laughs> Bianca. Right. But, but who would voluntarily or, or, or like impulsively be like, you know what? I could sign up for this. That would be you. Okay. That would be you. But, um, that's the other thing I was going to say. So people always talk about how, um, but like you get the runner's high after you run and like you get really happy. Like mm -hmm. after you run, you're really happy, right? It is the opposite for me. I don't know why, but after I run, I am filled with rage. I am so angry after running and I can't explain it. It is the opposite of what is supposed to happen. I'm with rage. You need to run and I am. You need to start kickboxing or something. Yes. All right. Is it my turn or your turn to pick one? I think we should both do like one more because I think we're going to start running out of time pretty soon. Yeah, we're about there. Okay. Um, Who's most likely to be a teacher's pet? You. Really? I thought you. No. I mean, um... it is me, but didn't you say you're like that? <laughs> Not really. I, I have teachers. I thought that you I... said you were like that. No, I have teachers that I like, but it, what, okay. What, well, what does it mean to be a teacher's pet? I guess is my. Um, I don't know. I, I do strive to be the teacher's pet always. Um, I, I don't know. I, I always befriend the teacher and, and I don't know. I think it's Def more, I I'm think, definitely teacher's pet. I think pet. just, yeah, I'll, I'll say, I think my thing is just, I, teachers <laughs> generally like me because I sit down, shut up and do the work, you know, like, um, uh -huh. which will set you apart well, in a lot we of commented, classes. That's true. We commented on it recently. Um, that I I have more more teachers phone numbers than most students. Okay, I really a lot of... think you should be you should really rephrase that when you say that sentence again. <laughs> Sorry. I think you should really but, but... be careful with what you're about to say. <laughs> no, but it's true. But it's true. I have a lot of professors phone numbers just cuz they like like care in a in a good kind way. Right. And and I don't know. And then they like wanted to stay in touch after in a good way, in a kind way. Anyways. Uh yeah. I guess me. I guess it's me. I thought it would be you, but it's definitely me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely you. Okay. Pick one and then I have one more. Um We could just do this one, because I have a theory for this one. Who is most likely to start a band? No, I know what you're thinking. Oh, we have a... Because, obviously... Well, I mean... Well, obviously, Sorry? I've, I've, been in, I've been in three bands. So, like, okay, you'd think... You oh, have. All right, obviously, it'd be you. So, I would I, think my you. My theory is... I think that, there, that you are more likely to just be approached to say, hey, you should join our band, and then you just accidentally <laughs> join a band, you know? Well, because here's the thing about it like this. There That's a, fair. There was a ska punk band in like the nineties and the mighty, mighty boss tones was, and they okay. had their friend Ben Carr who would, they didn't know what to do with him. Cause he couldn't play any instruments, but they just wanted to keep hanging out with their buddy. I think it was Ben Carr. So they wanted <laughs> to just keep hanging out with their buddy. So they just let him dance on stage. And now he's like their tour manager. Oh, that's so funny. So I think that, that's I think so that funny. you'd be more likely to just get recruited for a band. If a band needed a mascot, I'm in. <laughs> Well, I'm just yeah. your band needs a mascot. I'm there. It's like when uh, you remember when Elton John or CeeLo Green played with the Muppets. It's like <laughs> you'd be yes. one of the Muppets. Oh my gosh, my uncle! My uncle called me the other day, and he asked me to call um, a little boy and pretend to be Mickey Mouse. And I had to answer the phone. But like, like they changed the name to Mickey Mouse. They put a picture of Mickey, and then they called, and I had to do Mickey Mouse's voice and have a whole conversation with this little boy as Mickey Mouse. Um, 
it, it doesn't matter. But but so my point being, hey. maybe I could do a like a like voiceover band where like we're doing characters' voices. You know what I mean? No, uh, <laughs> no you're, like you're gonna be like, an innovator. Like if, you're gonna be the first person to be a Mickey Mouse themed band. I think it's a great idea. I think I I'm uh what is Joel's phrase? I'm an innovator, baby. Yeah. Well, well, what's the what's the um you see <laughs> on back. TikTok on TikTok there's a um they do like they'll get characters and they'll put their these characters like SpongeBob or whoever or whoever and they'll put them in like an AI thing and AI will have them sing a song. Um, that's a huge oh my thing gosh yes no it's now. getting so scary, it's getting like creepy. But. Listen, I'm just saying that there. When you listen to Homer Simpson sing a Spanish like breakup song, and it sounds great. Oh my gosh! I'm just saying, there's a market for it. Someone's gonna want to see it live. Exactly. <laughs> All right, you have one more. Yeah, and that someone could be you. Uh, yeah. No, my last one, just because I thought it was funny, is um uh, who, which one of us do you think is most likely to become an internet meme? And I think technically the answer should be the two of us on the show, you know, like, like the show becomes the internet meme of yeah. like, they take a clip of our audio and everyone voices over to it. Oh God. But which one of us do you think? Well, who makes the better faces? <laughs> and I, are I, you asking me? Yeah. Who, in your opinion, who makes the funnier faces? Me? <laughs> yeah. I think but we only both because, make only faces. because, no, we do. I think we both make funny faces, but I think the answer is just barely me because I, we've established, I cannot control my face. My face sort of tells you what I'm thinking before I do always. Mm -hmm. And which is not always a good thing. Sometimes it's a problem and I should work on it. Um, but so sometimes my faces are, are extra funny in the screenshots, uh, be, because I didn't mean to make them because, because right. they were an accident. <laughs> Which definitely I think could be, make you very memeable. I could probably make me very memeable, but I think you're memeable too. I think your, your two most memeable faces are your frowny face where it's like, oh, oh I can't do it. But that one, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's the face. Look at him. That one, and then you're, you're one that's like... <laughs> look at him go. He's doing the face. My look, and then, my and then you're... look he's doing the face. <laughs> <laughs> and then your other face is like... Oh. You go like... Oh, yeah. Like, like, I can't do it. I don't make that noise. Oh. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, so those are your two. Or you also do the... You do the frowny face with big eyes, too, where it goes... Yeah, so so those are those are my three favorites of your faces that could be memeable. We should make me a meme. Yeah, you should make you a meme. We should make yeah. me a meme. That's what I said, didn't I? You said I meant no. to say we should. No, I said yeah, you should make you a meme. you should do that. <laughs> no, we should make you a meme for sure. We should start a podcast. Yeah, you should start a podcast. You should do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you have any final thoughts before we head off on uh, head off? I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know. Um, final thought. I um apparently I'm the black cat friend, which is surprising. Uh, in this in this friendship, but especially especially if you look at the backgrounds of our our setup here. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you have a bright then pink it's purple surprising. wall, and I have like its skulls and stuff. I have a rainbow yeah. right here though. Which is cool. Aw, I can't see it, but aw. But sorry, just speaking of which, I meant to say this last week or last time we met, but of course, um, as we're heading off, what, what, I don't know what, as we're signing off, as we're ending I don't off, know. ending off the episode, <laughs> ending of course, off, as we're as we're leaving, peace and out of the episode, um, of course, everybody, oh, I hope never. you're having, I hope you're having, and we'll continue to have a fantastic Pride Month, um, and I don't, that's and. <laughs> And I don't know. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I think I think it's time to tell this popsicle stand goodbye. The... <laughs> By the way, did you see what? that yesterday was lemonade day? <laughs> yesterday yes. was lemonade day. 
Uh, kids everywhere had lemonade stands yesterday. Huh. I didn't That's see that. That's a fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you you should have looked lemonade. more for the children with lemonade. I don't love... I don't... I don't love lemonade, so I don't think I would have... <laughs> no! Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You have to buy the lemonade anyways, because it's for the kids. It. <laughs> I didn't! You just bought it? But then... she did also make cupcakes. She did also make cupcakes, and they were good cupcakes. Okay. I also felt really bad because this little girl was so stressed out because she had three grown men. Like, I, like I think it was dad, uncle, and grandpa, like, monitoring her. Like, they were, they were very, like, do it no, right, do it right, do it court. right. And no, she was court, stressed court, out. That one right there. <laughs> yes. And she couldn't, she, she was, like, she was, like, probably 10. She could handle it for sure. But they were... <laughs> making sure she did everything right. I felt really bad though, cause she was so stressed that she did some things wrong where at one point she took her money out of her little box and put it on the table cause she was gonna give us change. And then she said, oh, hold on one second. And she left all of the money on the table and then went inside and we were like, uh, oh. we could like take this and run. We're not going to, but oh God, probably you shouldn't do that kid. Outside? That's weird. Oh my God, we had fireworks yesterday too. Why? It's June Happy Pride 20, Month. June 25th. <laughs> but anyways, guys. It's um, Pride Month, man. Exactly. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you. Um, of course, I don't know when we're going to post this episode, but I hope you have a fantastic end <laughs> of your Pride Month. I hope you have a very safe 4th of July. And um, mm-hmm. thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of Barely Bearable Besties. I'm Bianca. Well, I thought you were going to say it along with me. <laughs> I was like, it's that's not going to work. I can't. You can I try to figure it out. We already tried. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I don't know I'm... when to talk. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'm Thomas. <laughs> I'm Bianca. Bye. <laughs>